And what is up all of my beautiful wanderers of the world? Welcome and or welcome back to my channel. In case you guys did not know, my name is Walter. I am a flight attendant and you guys are joining me on yet another layover. Let me take off my Mr. Rogers sweater. Hold on one second. Today's layover, we are laying over and ready, get ready for a jump rope, jump rope. We are laying over in Prague, Czech Republic. That is right, Prague, Czech Republic. I have never been here before. I am super excited. I've heard nothing but good things about Prague, literally. I've seen a lot of YouTube videos. I've seen a lot of like blogs just on how beautiful Prague is, how much there is to do here, how good the food is. So I'm really, really, really excited to explore Prague. We are here for a rousing 24 hours. I just got in. Um, obviously, we came from New York on the 767. I was, what was I, two left. I was working in the back, but I was like the um, the first class assist. So I would work in the back and then go up front if they needed me um, to just help clear out the uh, like the first class trays and all that good stuff. Uh, going back, I am going to be the galley. So that is my favorite position in case you did not know. So I will just be behind the scenes getting everything set up. Up, getting all the meals prepped, getting all the meals out when it's time for them to eat, desserts, and all that good stuff. So, yeah, I'm really, really happy. I'm happy. Um, what was I going to say? I was going to say something. Oh, uh, so I have, like, a list of things that I want to do here today. It's all on this thing. Um, <laughs> on this thing. Um, it's all on this article that I read, basically. Uh, just a lot of different things to do. If you guys did not know, Prague has a lot to offer. Um, definitely want to check out. I forgot what it is. It's a bridge. I think it's Old Charles Bridge. And of course, I clicked off the page that had, hold on, things to do in Prague. Give me one second. Uh, yes, so I don't know where I left off at that, but like I said, there's a few things I want to do. Um, firstly, the Prague Castle, really big castle here in Prague, obviously. Uh, Charles Bridge. Um, it's a really supposed to be a really beautiful bridge. Old Town, which is where all those colorful houses that you probably have seen if you've ever looked at pictures of Prague. Um, and uh, the John Lennon Memorial or wall. Um, it's like it's just a lot of graffiti. It's a really pretty wall. And there was something else that I forgot. Oh, this big kind of, it's hard to explain. I'll show it to you when, when we go see. It's like this, uh, it's like a statue, but it's kind of like a moving statue. It's really, really interesting. It's this big face. Anyways, we'll see all of that when we go down. Um, our hotel is very centrally located on this layover, so I think it's like a 15 minute walk to the city center. So, yeah. But you guys know what's about to happen. I'm about to hop in this thing right here. I'm about to hop in this thing right here and take a nice little, probably hour and a half, two hour nap, and then we're gonna go out, because I'm really, really excited about this layover, guys. I'm really, really excited. Uh, before we get into the video, though, you guys know what time it is. You guys know what time it is. I want to see you coming back. I want to see you loving this video. I want to see you loving this channel, and I want to see you subscribe. I want to see you join the family, fam. So go on ahead, hit that subscribe button. That will automatically enter you into the Walter Wonders Club. So go on ahead and hit that. At I would love to have you guys join that club. So go on ahead and hit that subscribe button and you will automatically be in the club. The Wandering Club is a great club. I know you'll love it. I know you will. I know you will. And so on that note, guys, I will see you in a couple hours. All right, guys, we are rested, showered, and dressed. Now let's go out and explore Prague. Guys, we're in the back of an Uber on our way to the Charles Bridge. Uh, Chris is here. Say hi, Chris. It was his birthday last week, and uh, he decided that he'd like to spend his birthday riding my coattails for free to Europe. So, congratulations. Anyways, like I said, we're going to to Charles Bridge, and I think after that, we're going to make our way over to uh, Prague Castle. Um, and then hopefully after that, get some food. So I want some really good food. And I meant to ask the front desk where a good restaurant is. So hopefully we can we can find something um, on our own, but we'll see. All right, I'll talk in with you guys in a minute. Alright guys, we made it to Charles Bridge, which I believe, if I'm not mistaken, is right behind me. Uh, we happened to stumble across something though. No clue what is going on.
Alright guys, my hands getting tired. I can't lift it up anymore. Guys, look at the locks on the bridge. So this obviously isn't Charles Bridge, but it's just a smaller one under it. And Charles, I believe, is right there. So there's some steps on the other side of this. Let's go walk up them. Alright guys, we are walking across Charles Bridge now. In case you guys didn't know, Charles Bridge is a historical bridge that crosses the Vlatford River. Yes, I am reading this off my phone. Uh, Vlatford River and its construction started in 1357 and it ended in 1402. So this bridge is, when they say historical, they mean historical. So that's pretty cool. We're walking over a, I don't even, I can't even do math. Like I can't even do that amount of math to tell you. Over 600 year old bridge, like it's pretty cool. Look at the, uh, stone monuments over here. It is so beautiful. I think I love the darker ones though. I've never seen like dark stone statues before. That's so cool. <laughs> These are obviously historical figures, but it is so cool. And then you have your white ones over there. But there are more dark ones, as you can see, than uh, white ones. Obviously, being that Charles Bridge is a historic landmark in Prague, it is obviously very touristy and very busy. Uh, oh, oh my god. You can do this one, guys? Uh, oh no, what is he doing? Do it, put it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> you wanna try it? He's gonna try it. Okay. <laughs> and then you're gonna capture it. I'm a slave for you. <laughs> Because <laughs> why, Brittany? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, it's so long. On your phone. Guys, I can't believe I just did that. That was pretty cool. <laughs> Alright guys, that was the weirdest experience of my life. That was so crazy, just holding a live snake. Same one, if you know, that Brittany held in the I'm a Slave For You uh, video? What's the video? Performance, whatever, it was the same thing. Pretty cool though. Uh, it was very docile, didn't even like do anything, and I was like internally screaming the entire time. So we are in the city center of uh, Prague right now. As you can see, it is very busy, very, very busy right now. It's the middle of the afternoon. Um, I think I'm gonna head over to I'm I mean we're gonna head over to Prague Castle right now and go check that out. Um, it's probably gonna be just as busy there as it is now, but let's go on ahead over. Guys, you can see the castle there in the distance. We're about another 15 minutes away from 
the castle over here. You can see that is Charles Bridge, that other bridge over there. That's the bridge we were just on. Yeah. All right, guys, a little orientation of Prague Castle. You can see they have all of this. Guys, look at this detail up here. So cool. These streets. All right, guys, we have now left Prague Castle. We are on our way to the Petron Tower, or at least that's how I'm pronouncing it. It's just a big lookout tower um, that overlooks Prague, obviously. So, you should be able to get a really, really good view of Prague. You should be able to get a really good view of Prague and uh, your Instagram photos because you know what, like I said, if you ain't doing it for the gram, you ain't doing it for nobody. Boom. There it is, guys. And you can see people walking up. So it does definitely uh, resemble the Eiffel Tower in Paris. All right, guys, we're on the first tier of the tower. There's two lookout points. I'm at the top of the first one. Wow, you gotta take the stairs. And that's sad. Anyways, this is the view. Get you closer. Alright guys, we're gonna climb the second set and uh, yeah, it's almost 300 steps. I don't know why I didn't take the elevator, honestly, I can't tell you why not. Alright guys, I'm going back down. The top of that tower is just way too crowded. You can't even like get a good picture in because everybody is crowded by the one good area to take a picture in. Sorry if you can't see me walking down the stairs. So I'm just going back downstairs to that second flat level, second lookout level, where I'll hopefully be able to take uh, at least somewhat decent picture. But yeah, don't recommend, don't recommend it. I thought it would be like kind of open, but the top of the tower is like encased in glass, so you can't really do anything. Yeah, this level is definitely better for pictures. I just wish that top level, you see that right there, that's all windows, so you can't really like get out and take a good picture like you can out here. I just wish this level was up there, but we will work with what we got, people. All right, guys, so we just finished taking our pictures up here. Oh, gosh, that sun is bright. All right, we're about to head. I think I want to go get some dinner. I'm starving now. I did want to see the John Lennon Wall, and there was this big um, sculpture thing somewhere in the city that I wanted to check out, but we'll see if we have enough time. I don't know why I'm even vlogging like this. So, uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys. I'll, I'll, I'm sorry. I'm starving. That's why I can't even speak. I'll catch up with you guys when we get dinner. Decide where we're going to go, because it's knowing me and him is going to take a minute to decide where to go eat so i'll catch you guys up all right guys it is out a few hours later we have found a restaurant to eat at this was recommended by the concierge at the hotel where i'm laying over it is called cocovana uh, this is actually if you can see it this is the street it's on um, and as you can see it is a beer hall <coughs> so you can see over there um, they specialize in beer, obviously. They have a lot of beers on tap. They also have like soft drinks and cocktails and all that good stuff. And they also have food. 
if I can open it. They have different food. Like pasta, I see steak, I see fish. So I'm gonna go ahead and look over what I want to eat and I will get back with you guys when I've made my decision. Record it. All right guys, we got some starters here. This is spare ribs, uh, chicken wings, and a duck salad. We got a couple drinks here, a couple cocktails. It is about to go up. down. I'll see you guys in a minute. Cause I'm about to be a fanny. Main course. All right guys, dinner was a rousing success. I am so stuffed, it was actually really, really delicious. All right, so we are about to hop in an Uber, go back to the hotel, um, go get a good night rest, good night's rest. Pick up tomorrow, it's at 11.40 a.m., so I wanna hit the gym before that, definitely. It's about 11 p.m. right now, so I'll hopefully get a good like eight, nine hours of sleep tonight, and then wake up, hit the gym, and then it will be going back to work. I hope you guys all enjoyed Prague today. I know I did. I'm so sad I didn't get to see that big sculpture thing. I'm going to insert a picture right here of what I'm talking about, just so you guys will know what crazy sculpture I'm talking about, um, as well as the John Lennon Museum. But you know what? Those are always activities I can do the next time I come. So I will, on that note, I'm sorry, I'm a little scatterbrained. On that note, I will see you guys in the morning. Goodbye. And good morning, good morning, good morning, all of my beautiful wanderers. As you can see, I am rested, showered, dressed, and it is time to go to work. No? Okay, anyways. Yep, it is that time. It is that time to go to work. <laughs> Uh, I didn't tell you guys the flight coming over was seven hours and 17 minutes So I'm estimating about eight and a half ish going back. Hopefully the shorter the better So yeah, but around eight and a half uh, that was about the same time going from Berlin if you guys remember So yeah, I am going to be doing galley today in case you forgot Which means I am going to be doing all of the first class meals getting all that stuff together prepped I'm going to be basically behind the scenes today, which I am so 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 excited about But it is going to be a lot of hard work That is why I took the opportunity to rest as much as I could. Yeah, I slept for a good 10 10 11 hours and I'm sorry I ain't sorry about that, but I did, however, manage to go to the gym this morning, so I am super happy about that as well. Um, so yeah, I am going to leave you guys here, but I like to think that I know you guys on a very personal, maybe even spiritual level, so I know you ain't got nowhere else to go. God, you know, if it's like 7 in the morning, you know you ain't going to work until like 9. 9 15 probably even 9 30 for some of you crazier kids out there so go ahead and watch another video i'm gonna put it right here for you i'm gonna put it right there for you go ahead and watch another video because you know i got so many travel vlogs i got so many of them because i like to work i don't like to work but i i work so you know what go ahead and watch another one of these wonderful videos go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't done it already because i would love to see you a part of the wandering club watch a video and hit that subscribe button all right guys we both know i'm not gonna do this all day because pick up is in uh, like 10 minutes and show up on time so i'm gonna go ahead and go i love you guys and i will see you on the next one bloom, 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 bloom. Okay, bye.